Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City. Gary Christian's the van guy serving you since 1981. Another great find for the dealerships just got in is a 2014 Road Trek CS. And in the back, anybody know what a CS is? Yes, red haired gentleman. Correct, camper special. Let's take a look inside. So the CS has some features that all the other vans don't have. And let's start in the back. It's got great cabinets, storage space all the way across. And a real deep one in the back. This is where your audio controls are for the speaker, for the radio, or for the entertainment center, which you have a DVD player, flat screen TV that releases. Um, the CS model even has a little slide out shelf here in the back. That's nice if you're sitting back in here. And it has another flip up shelf right here on this side for the other people sitting down. It's got jealousy windows that open up. Um, it's got day night shades. Both sides open up on your windows. Your control here for the uh, electric couch is right here. So this is gonna make into a twin or you can fill, fill the center in with the cushions to a nice queen size bed. Uh, you have your inverter switch back here. Controls for your heater, thermostat. This is your closet area. Got a couple ta table legs in here. This is where your hangers go. So you slide them out. And with the CS, you've got a gorgeous amount of storage in the kitchen. Another hanger space or shelves, you choose. There's your solar, it's a 240 watt solar panel. That's working for you all the time. And I mentioned storage in the kitchen. Great shelves down below, they work around the P-trap. Full extension, your sink, hot, insta-hot, and then good drawer space on this side as well. Now this is equipped with induction cooktop you have to have a magnetized pot to make this work. And it heats up in seconds and when you take it away, it cools down in seconds as well. Um, moving out of the kitchen, you do have a third seat. You can take this seat out. Um, you can put something else here if you would like. Um, if you get a bed kit, you can make this into a third sleeping area, which is very convenient. All your controls are right in here for your battery disconnect switch uh, to turn the battery on for all your lights. They're all LEDs. Uh, there's no generator start switch because this has an underhood generator. It's a big alternator. It runs off your engine. So you have a nice quiet Mercedes engine and that gives you the extra power. Uh, it's got a big inverter to run your air conditioner and your convection microwave up here. Big Norco refrigerator. Uh, it does have a backup camera. Now we can update this to today's technology with a nice new screen, all touch. Um, Apple Play on it. Um, tilt steering wheel. Power windows and locks, tilt cruise, power mirrors, six cylinder, five speed. Uh, when we had a rental company, we were running 20 to 22 miles per gallon in this size vehicle um, all day long. Got another nice storage area up here up on top. As you can see, we have all the owner's information and the booklets, which is always real nice. Uh, both seats turn around and face the rear. Uh, you do have a uh, table right in here that you can set uh, for a dining table. 
uh, for up to three people. Uh, let me hit the disconnect. We'll pop outside. Got an awning up on top. Uh, this is a custom color, which is an option on the sheet. And yeah, if you do contact me directly, I did resource that. And I do have the MSRP to show all the options. Uh, dual tires, of course. Uh, you got your wheel liners. Currently, this has a carry, carrier on the back uh, for whatever you might want. Uh, backup cameras right up on top. Outdoor shower. This is your Truma exhaust and intake. This is very, it's not hot, so this is not a danger point where you have to be concerned about the heat. Right down here, this has your 110 hookup. You can see that there's a full size spare tire. So if you do have an issue, you can call a roadside assistance and they have a spare tire to swap out and get you on the road again. Macerator, here's your macerator hose, uh, your black and your gray handle. Uh, this little knob here. If your macerator stops, you can take that and nudge it to get it going again. And remember, always use RV toilet paper. Here's your propane tank, water fill. Propane fills here, easy to get to. And like all Sprinter chassis, the fuel fill is behind the driver's door so nobody can get to it. Your macerator start switch is right here. It's a little red button and it's going to take maybe a minute and a half to empty that tank out. It's really quick and efficient and that sewer macerator hose is hooked directly in so you just pull it out and it's already hooked up. I know we went through a lot of information and yeah you probably do have some questions. Who would be better than the van guy? You can call me direct at 541-554-9581 or use the email on the screen. I appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you.